so this is my second time out here today doing many takes. Um, just take a minute and just kind of go back and forth maybe. So I'm back here like 7.30 p.m. because I really wanted to get something to you. And uh, I'm just trying really hard. <laughs> ay, yay, ay, ay, I am definitely a work in progress. This is definitely a work in progress. So the next time you're back, just hold it back, round your back. Lower your chin to your chest. And then come back to it. So this is like cat and cow. Inhale here, come forward. Exhale into cat. And again. Hopefully I can get this to you and help you relax tonight. And the next time we're forward, let's take circles. And the other way. I can't hear my music. I didn't want it to be too loud. So it's way over there. Pull the phone. That's not the song I asked for. I asked for the other one. But anyway, side to side. Add your head. Relax your chin to your chest. And then round your back. Bring it on up. Arms are out to the side. Your fingertips are wide. Your fingers are wide. And your pinky finger is on the floor. And let it be like kind of like taut on the floor. Like kind of strong on the floor here. Lift your chest. Yes. Opens your chest. We're always like this. So you need to lift your chest. Yes. Inhale those hands up towards the ceiling. Let your eyes come up. Come out of your waist. Wiggle out of your waist again. Exhale down. Lower your chin to your chest. Fingertips on the floor. Inhale up again. Exhale up. On the mass. One more. Up. Exhale down. Lower your chin to your chest. Take that ear over to your shoulder. Relax. Maybe take your shoulders side to side. Some of that stress out of your shoulders. Lower your chin to your shoulder. Hold. And back to your ear, other side. Shake it up. Lower your chin. Back to your ear. Good job. And center. And maybe take that side to side for a semicircle. Excellent. Hold. Turn those palms towards the ceiling, please. And hell up. And let's turn from your waist to the side and exhale. One hand is in front, one is behind you. Look behind. Lengthen your chest, your ears from your shoulders. Inhale up. Go through the center. Exhale. Keep your hips even. One more, inhale up, twisting through my waist. I'm not moving my hips, move your torso. Maybe you can twist a little further, go behind. Inhale up, no slouching, coming through the front. And exhale, twist a little bit more. Inhale up, we're coming center. Exhale down. Lower your chin to your chest one more time. Shoulders are up, back, and down. Relax those arms, relax your shoulders. And forward. And keep that head down for just a second. And hold. Then maybe we'll lift our head. Lift those shoulders. We're going a little bit higher. Please use the entirety of your arm. So when you go around, take your shoulders all the way around and back. Or lift your chest. Bring your hands all the way around. The circle's getting bigger. And down. Lift those hands up in front of you. Let your hands be light. Let's hold right here for a second. If you made a circle, come back and never abruptly change your um, position. But come back to that. Relax your hands. And then let's inhale those hands up. And then exhale them behind you. And two more circles up. Relax, relax. If you're all the way through your circle, please come back and slow down. What's your hurry? 
You have nowhere to go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Or maybe you do, huh? Be careful. Mask up. And take your time. And reverse. Nice big circle. This may not seem like much, but it is. Take your time all the way around. Up and down. Give me one more. And you're exhaling down. Good job. As we rotate those shoulders behind one at a time. Mm. Relax your head away from your ears. Reverse that, please. At any given moment, you can lower your chin to your chest, make it a little organic. And then hold. Lift those shoulders up towards your ears. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale with a side. Drop your shoulders. Ha. And again. Inhale up. Ha. Two more. Please inhale up. Ha. Last one. Make it a little bit longer, a little bit louder. Inhale up. Exhale. Ha. Good job. Shoulders are up back and down. Bring this leg forward. Ah. You see my cute little um, toe ring. I made that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that, like super cute? You guys with the rest of the stuff, you see that? Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So shake this leg out. It's here too. Look at that. It's all over. Ha uh ha. -huh. You can ask me about that later. Shoulders are up back and now. Shake this leg out, please. Shake this leg out. Make sure you're sitting nice and comfortably. Inhaling up. Turning towards that leg from your waist. Exhale forward. <clears throat> Let's hold right here. Shoulders are right back and down. If this is your limit, that is fine. Pull your belly button in. Let's inhale back up again. And then let's exhale, go down a little bit lower. Nice, nice, nice. Pull your belly button in. The next inhale, you're going to inhale. Lift out to the side and exhale that arm up. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale that shoulder open a little bit more. Exhale it behind your back. Maybe we'll take a break with our neck and slowly, carefully look down towards that leg. Inhale that head and your arm back up towards the ceiling or the sky and exhale over. Ay, yeah, yeah. Shake out that opposite leg that bent me and then glue it down, opening up that side body. Inhale, turn towards that foot carefully, carefully, carefully. Exhale down. Pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Up, shoulders back and down. Good job. Extend. <laughs> Shake it up. Good job. Inhale up. Exhale towards that foot. Reach, 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 reach. Hold. Relax your head away from your ears. Flex your foot a lot. It's going to keep your fascia nice and soft to keep you from getting plantar fasciitis, which you do not want. Inhale, ex, you know what we did? Inhale, lift it up, and then exhale, lower it back down a little bit further. Be where you are, honor your body. If you're here, you're there. That's where you are, and it's a great place. Honor where you are, reach, yes. Belly button in, inhale, turn out towards the ceiling or the sky, open your chest. Shoulder blades away from your ears, meaning not like that. Finding space everywhere. Inhale, open that shoulder up a little bit more, and then lower that arm behind your back. But push your shoulders down. Maybe taking our time and turning our head down towards the floor. Pull your belly button in right here. Feel what it does to your lower back. They're in opposition to each other, so they support each other. Inhale, lift that head towards the ceiling and that arm, and exhale over. Shake out that opposite leg. Keep your shoulder blades down your back. Belly button lightly in, gently turn, carefully, carefully from your torso. Turn towards that leg and relax. Please honor the where you are. There's a uh, blessing and um, stretching and release everywhere. Pull your belly button in. Inhale, round your back up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders are up, back and down. Good job. Let me take that wide without me just being just kind of 
I'll go sideways just a little bit. <laughs> yes, legs so wide. Relax your head side to side. Flex your feet a lot. I have to put my foot just in the camera. Hey, yeah, yeah. Inhale your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale down. Bring your hands to the floor. And then we're going to take a little walk. Take it forward. Try not to let your legs fall in. See if you can keep your legs outward a little bit. Take a little bit of a walk. Just a little walk. Relax your head to your shoulder side. Other side. Let's shake out our legs. Relax our legs. Relax your head. Shake your ankles out. Pull your belly button in. Inhale, walk it up. Nice flat back. Exhale, walk it down. Maybe you can go a little bit further. Honor your body. Wiggle those feet. Wiggle those legs. Pull your belly button in. And when you're ready, walk it over to that, that side. No mosquitoes. Sorry. <laughs> so... I try not to kill a lot of bugs. I know where you are. If you're here, you're here. That's where you are, and that's a blessing. Yes, look at that. Mm -hmm. Being grateful. And we're taking a walk carefully to the other side. Be where you are. Last time coming, center, hand over hand, and hold, relax, 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 maybe you can bend those elbows, maybe, and then maybe we'll let those feet fall in, maybe pedal your feet, pull your belly button in here, we're rounding our back, bringing it up one vertebrae at a time, excellent, slide that left foot in and the right those heels are together. The soles of your feet are together. We're in butterfly pose. Shoulders are up, back, and down. Good job. We're coming forward, leaning forward from your waist. Pull your belly button in. Inhale. Exhale. You wonder why I say that so much. Hold. Because it supports your trunk. It supports your core. Pulling in. Relax. Maybe take your shoulders side to side. See where you are. So, let's take a little walk back. So, lift this hip right here and walk it back. Stop. Shoulders up, back and down. Lift this hip here. Walk it back. So, we're walking backwards with our hips. Stop. One more time. Lift this opposite hip. Walk it back. You should be coming away from your heels. Lift this hip, walk it back. Good job. When you're ready, lower down a little further. Be where you are. Belly button in, round your back one vertebrae at a time. Keep your shoulders relaxed, even though that's pulled in. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Extend your right foot and then your left. <coughs> Flex your feet a lot and open your toes. Give your knees some love. <laughs> Maybe let's flex and then extend. Flex and then extend. So this is another cute toe ring. It's a tiny, I was like, that might look like a, something else then. It might look like a little porn, but it's not. It's a toe ring. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on this finger so you won't think. Oh, gosh, she's got a terrible porn there. I got some stuff, weird stuff going on with my feet, but I don't have a corn that's quite that big. <laughs> so I'll put it on my um, fingers. So do this. Give me this girly move. Why? Because it relaxes your wrist and head to the other side. And center. Let your head circle your wrist. <sighs> so if you have a wall that you can sit against, do that. The wall is great for realignment. Because it's straight, it's just flat. So, I mean, it's like the straightest thing you can get your back against. Yes? Just inhale up. Flex your feet just like before. Come forward. Hold it. Reach. Relax your head. So you don't have to go far. Pull your belly button in. Let's inhale back up. And we'll exhale a little bit further. 
reaching with those hands forward. Lower your chin. Last time, inhale, up, belly button is in, and we're exhaling, go on down, as low as your body will allow, and take your hands over your feet, over your ankles, knees, or thighs. Relax your face, relax your chest, breathe. When you're ready, release your hands. Still relax your head, pull your belly button in, round it up, one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders are up, back and down. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job, and shake it out. So, are we saying this with stretching or circle your wrists, circle your feet, your ankles? Go the other way. Good job, and then hold. Let's take this leg here behind. Let's bend both of those legs. One is bent here forward, one is bent behind. You kind of square yourself. If your knees don't allow you to do this, give your knees some love. If they don't like this, you can lay down on your back and cross one leg over the other. Lift that knee, we'll probably do that in a minute. But you can lay on your back and just do a stretch that's comfortable for you. We're gonna turn our body towards this front leg and then we're gonna walk down from our waist. So take a walk. Bend your arms. And release it, walk back up. And then extend this, this leg behind and go ahead and lift. So you know what, I kept that leg bent actually. And lower it down. Good job. Other side, bring that leg forward. Shoulders up back and down. Turning towards that leg. So you should have that rotation in your body, that little rotation here. So turning towards that leg, we're walking down that leg. Going down, leading, leading with your chest. Ooh. All the way down. When you're ready, walk it back up. Belly button is slightly in, walk it back up. Placing this hand behind you, we're just going to lift. Maybe wiggle those fingers. Inhale and take it down. Good job. And bringing that back around. So, I was kind of wondering, do we want to keep that short or do we want to? Earlier today, I, I'd been on the floor. I had you on the floor. <laughs> All kinds of things. Just kind of wondering, am I going to like it? Am I going to look at this tape and then go, no. <laughs> so tap out the front of your feet sideways again. And let's lower down one vertebrae at a time. Yes? Vertebrae? I don't have my noodles. Way over there. So let's relax. Lift your hips up and sit them back down for a nice neutral spine. If you need something for your lower back, you can get a pillow for your lower back or a towel, which we could have done first. So maybe I'll do a different one for that one. Give your legs some love. Those, those, your legs, your hip flexors, some love. And then, you know what, I think we'll come up. So lift your hips, turn them to one side, and then we'll round ourselves and come back up. I think I'll keep them short. That way you could do what you want to do. You can link them together. I might put it all together, but I'm still a work in progress. Remember, I'm working on it. Inhale up. Exhale. Take it wide, like we did before. Lower your chin to your chest. Shoulders side to side. Inhale up. We've got one more. Exhale down. 
Get your shoulders away from your ears, right ear over. Or to one side. And other side. I got a little catch. Notice where your body is like asking for attention. And forward. Side to side. And hold. Let's inhale up. Exhale to your heart center. Thanks for sharing your evening, morning, whenever you're going to watch this with me. Sharing a few minutes with me. Delight in me. Honors. Appreciates the light in you. I pray the rest of your day or night is peaceful. I pray it's full of joy. And I pray that you stay extremely healthy. Namaste. At home. Love you guys. Probably don't want to turn this song off. Okay, I'm going to let the song play, and you can turn it off if you like, but I know my daughter likes that song. She's like, Mommy, don't turn that song off, so. If you want to get a pillow or a blanket, that was kind of the end of that session, but I'll just go on and connect it, and you feel free to um, stop the tape or stop the um, video, come back to it, or continue. Okay, so I think we're going to go to our back. So if you want to get a pillow or a blanket for your head, I'm not sure which is the best way for me to like, so I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to take the other pillow or blanket. I'm going to put it under the blanket. Okay. Relax your face, relax your chest. Bring your leg in, flex your foot. Bend your leg. Flex and point your foot. And bend that knee, cross it over. I'm going to remove mine today. Bring this knee in. And release. Maybe that heel will come a little bit closer. And then push it away. <laughs> I won't tell you what I felt about my neck earlier in this position. Like, what is going on? If you don't do some neck exercises, oh my goodness. And we take this leg back up towards the ceiling. Relax your hands. I'm really trying to keep my shoulders away from my ears. Okay, okay. So there's a next exercise that my daughter does. Flex and point your feet. Lightly pull your belly button in. Okay, so then let's relax that. And then take your face, take your chin, and squeeze it in. Like pull all those muscles in. And hold that. So that's a nice exercise. 
neck exercise for you. Lower this leg down. We're taking the opposite arm. Does it? We do that on the middle and bringing it up and then down. Inhale here. Exhale up and then down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale down. Reach, reach, reach away with your toes and exhale up. Good job. And bring that leg in one more time. Set it down. Tap out your toes, thump out your heels. Bring that other knee in. Send it towards the ceiling. Like some point. So really extend through your heel more than pointing your toes. Make sure you just extend really nicely through your heel. Elongate, elongate. <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah. Bend that knee. Bring it in. Cross it over. Flex your foot. Push that knee away. And bring it back in a little bit more and extend it up towards the ceiling. Let some point that foot. Give your legs some love. And extend that leg all the way down. Opposite arm. Relax your face, relax your chest. You'll inhale here. Exhale, lift, flex that foot. Keep your hip down. Inhale away. Exhale together. Nice and slow. Inhale away. Exhale together. Flex your foot. Point your toes or extend your ankle. Inhale away. Exhale. Lift, lift, lift from your hip. Good job. Bend that knee. Bring that leg in a little bit closer. Maybe you can tuck that heel in a little bit closer. Maybe not. Honor your knee. If it doesn't want to do that and it wants to be up here, go up there. Flex and point that foot. And release. Place that foot on the floor. Do pelvic tilts. Do not come off your noodle or your um, blanket or pillow. It's whatever you have there. Okay? So we're just going to do a couple curls before we actually come off. So your arms are by your side. And you're going to inhale right here where you're comfortable. And then you're going to curl your hips towards your belly button and exhale through your mouth. So you're going to inhale, release, and then exhale, curl. Two more. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. Curl, curl, curl. Don't come off. One more. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. The next time we come up, we are coming off the noodle or the floor. Inhale here. Curl, exhale, lift your hips off of the floor, noodle or blanket, and slowly take it out, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Good job. Going for a nice, um, walk your feet together. Let's walk our feet together. Heel toe your feet all the way together. Let the soles of your feet come together and let your knees go apart for butterfly. You can lift your chest, go side to side if you want, and then place that back on your back on the floor. If you have tight hip flexors, tight hamstrings, feel free to take your pillow or your blanket, lift that leg, and put it down on there for a little bit of support. You need to take your head away and put it under the other leg. Feel free to do so. Relax your face, relax your chest, relax your belly, relax your hips, relax your knees. And you're ready, slowly bring those knees towards one another. Let your feet go flat on the floor. Now heel toe your feet away from each other. So lift your heels, put them down. Lift your toes, put them down. Lift, going away from each other until your knees are together. 
They don't have to be that low, but till your knees are together, give your hips some love. Yeah, they need all the love they can get. Taking one leg down towards the floor and one knee towards the ceiling. Not all the way out like um, windshield wiper. And then switch. So, if you don't want to get on the floor, if the floor is not good for you today, you all need to practice. And I should wait for the airplane side to side. Blessings over the airways. Blessings over those that are still traveling. Blessings over the airways. If you're not too fond of the floor and you really don't want to get on the floor, you can do this on your bed. Feel free to do this on the bed. Your body doesn't care where you do it. It just wants you to. Let's heel toe our feet back together again. Good job. So they're all the way together. And then you know what? I'm going to walk them back apart until they're hip distance apart. And we're going for a bridge pose. Adjust your back. Bridge pose for your back. Where we are inhaling, bringing our hips towards our pelvic, and then we're lifting. Your arms are right by your side. Your hands are on the floor. Maybe we walk our feet in just a little bit. Make sure your back's okay. Your head's away from your ears. Lifting our heels, lifting our arms. Optional. Coming down one vertebrae at a time. Keep your hips up while you bring your upper back down. Let your hands go down with your legs upper, I mean with your um, torso, middle back, middle lower back. Ooh, that's good. Keep your hips curled and then lower all the way down. Excellent. I'm losing noodles. Ready? We're going up. Inhale, curl your hips up and lift. You can lift those hands at the same time. Maybe we walk those feet in. If you need the support of the floor to walk your feet in, feel free to do so. Lift your heels. Lift your hands. Optional again. Lift your hips. Going down one vertebrae at a time. Upper back. Keep tucking your hips. Middle back. Middle lower back. Keep tucking your hips. Keep tucking. And all the way down. Excellent. Dump out your toes. Tap out your toes and dump out your heels. Good job. Going over on our bellies, lift your hips, turn your hips to one side, and then we're coming all the way around to come on your belly. Carefully come on your belly. So once you're there, your shoulders are up, back, and down. Stack your hands one on top of the other. Place your forehead on your hands. Rock your hips side to side. Loosen your hips. So when you're ready, if you need to look up for a second, inhale, lift this leg, slide it over, put it down. Lift the other leg, slide it center, put it down. Rotate your heels together, lower your head, rock your hips. And hold. One more time. We're lifting this leg. Put it in. Now walk that leg away from your body. Lift this leg. Put it in. Walk that leg away from your body. One more. Walk away. Lift. Walk away. You're getting a small space in your hip. Lift. Walk away. Rotate your heels together. Lower your head to your hands. Belly button in, inhale, lift your legs as one unit. Exhale, lift your upper body as one unit. Inhale, take your arms out to a T, your legs are still lifted. Shoulders are up, back and down. Turn your palms towards the ceiling, lift. Turn your head to one side, lower down. Tuck your hands underneath your hips. Rock side to side. If you need your noodle or your blanket again, feel free to use it. When you're ready, we're going again. 
Stack your hands. Whichever way you're getting ready to stack, stack the other way so that we know that we've switched. Lift one leg, slide it in, walk it away. Lift the other leg, slide it in, walk it away. Rotate your heels together, rock your hips. Hold, forehead on your hands. Inhale, lift your legs as one unit. Exhale, lift your upper body as one unit, hold. Inhale, slowly take your arms out to a T. Slowly, slowly, shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, lift a little higher, take your arms behind you. Your palms are facing the ceiling. Turn your head the other way, lower down. Tuck your hands underneath your hips. Rock side to side. And hold. Bring that head forward. Arms are right by your side. Open your fingers. Place your hands right by your chest. Rotate your elbows underneath. Relax your head away from your ears. Rock side to side. Hold. Push your belly button in. Inhale halfway up. Nice half plank. Push back into child's pose. Relax your head a lot. If your head's up, your head weighs about 10 pounds or so, so lower your head. Hips to one side, arms to the other. If this is not good for your knees, lay on your back. And other side. And back to center. So maybe here you would like to separate your knees and keep your toes together for child's pose and we'll walk it forward. Honor your body, honor your knees, honor where you are. If you like to take one hand behind you and the other, feel free to do so. Your version of child's pose. Make a fist release. Make a fist release. Fist release and rest. If your head is one to one side and you would like to take it to the other side, feel free to do so. You can bring your arms by your side. It's all optional. And then when you're ready, round your back and bring it all the way up. Take your legs to one side. Shoulders up, back and down. Up, back and down, up, back and down. Legs to the one side, but make sure you're sitting on your, kind of hard to get the both sitting bones when we're like this, but just make sure you're not way over here on this hip. So find a spot in there that's good where you're kind of even. And inhale this arm where the leg is bent. Inhale that up and take it over. Shoulders are back and down. Shoulders up, back and down. Maybe it's a little lower this time. Maybe. Relax that leg. And up. And let's twist this leg down. Shoulders up, back and down. Relax. And smile. The body cooperates better when we smile. Inhale up. Exhale over. Back 
belly button in, please. Inhale, we're going slowly to the other side. Just going to find the mat maybe with our elbow. Maybe relax that hand. Open your chest. Pull your belly button in. Inhale. Help assist with that arm on the side, a little bit lower. And and hello. Shoulders are up, back and down. Should we get off the floor together? Let's get off the floor together. So let's come here first. Yeah. Relax. So you know what? I'm gonna turn sideways. It comes over the side. So let's windshield wiper. Let's take those feet apart and take those legs over to one side. So we're gonna take this front leg and go forward and back. So that's like really good in your hip flexor, in your hip flexor, and in your hip. And then hold it forward. Maybe we can go down to our elbows carefully. Belly button in carefully. Ask your body. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. Ooh, I've been on a break. My goodness. <laughs> and then ask your body if you can go on down. I'm going to put my head on the deck. Lift your chest. Relax. Wiggle those toes, so maybe we'll take this foot and just kind of play with it. I want to walk that in. I felt that on my knee a little bit. So we're always cognizant of what's happening at that moment because every day our bodies are different. But maybe I can take this foot. Palms towards the ceiling, relax. So we're gonna walk this leg back in. Gotta be really careful as we come back up. If you have back issues and you just want to switch your legs to the other side, feel free to do so. If you're okay, I'm going to come up so I can come back down the same way. I'm gonna pull my belly button in because we need to have breakfast or coming up. I'm gonna use my elbows and I'm gonna come on up. Shoulders right back and down. I'm gonna walk this leg in. My feet are hip distance apart, and I take them separate again, and then go down the other side. And then I'm rocking. Mm -hmm. So I'm literally opening my hips. I'm literally rock, rocking. My legs are so cool. <laughs> Rocking. Literally. Literally rocking. That's a little tongue twisted. And I'm ex um, relaxing my shoulders. Take it down to your elbows. Relax. Shoulders away from the ears. Maybe I'll do that rock again and then hold it. And then maybe I will ask my body, can we go down? Do you want to go down today? Lift your chest and adjust your back and take it down. Maybe I walk that foot back a little bit. Maybe not. Ooh. Now I know what some of those noises meant that my um, great aunts would make and my grandparents. Ooh grandbaby. Ready? And let's um, just kind of take that foot side to side. Relax your face. Relax your chest. Relax. Ha, ah, maybe do one of those. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Ha. Ah. That's good, right? Walk that foot in. Yeah, good job. And you know what? Let's go ahead and slide that leg over on top. So we're gonna stack our knee, we're gonna stack our body, we're gonna stack that knee on top of the other, and then go ahead and open back up. Adjust your back if necessary. 
Maybe we take this hand and place it over that knee. Maybe we look the other way. Then when you're ready, everything's where it's supposed to be. When you're ready, we're going to the other side. Nice and carefully. Mm -hmm. So we're going over. I'm going to stack this knee on top of the other one. Lift my chest, adjust my back, and then maybe look the other way. Maybe I take this hand. It really just kind of pulls that leg down just a little bit more. Know your back situation. Know where you're supposed to be. Your legs can be out further. And your head can go the other way. Whichever way you want. And when you're ready, come back to the center. So, I think we're going to stand on this one and help you get off the floor. So, let's inhale, lift our hips, go to one side, and we're just going to round ourselves and come over on all fours. We won't be here long, and I know some of our knees bother us. So, then what we're going to do is, so we talk about the art of getting up and down. So we're just going to make this turn and get up. If you need to use your couch or your bed, wherever you are to get up, feel free to do that. And you can take a turn. I don't really want to put my spine on anything, but you can make a turn and just come up. So maybe we're still the kind of down, yeah? Side to side. So bring your feet, hit this as a part, pull your belly button in, sit your bottom back, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Your shoulder blades stay down your back. Over that. 